We are the guinea pig collective. All will be assimilated. Resistance is futile. Greetings, everyone. This is Cringer of the Guinea Pig Collective. Sometimes the Collective sees articles that are so ridiculous that we feel the need to speak out about them. This is one of those articles. So by this point, we have all heard about the Florida Man stories. But what if I told you there's another group that probably deserves just as much attention, especially by way of this article. We are forgetting about the UK man because some of the ridiculous stories that are coming out of the UK are almost as funny as some of the stuff that we are hearing about from Florida and other places in the United States. This one in particular has to deal with a guy who is, as I say in this article, committing drive-bys what car is that coming up? Creep. Drive by! With a killer hawk. Basically, the article talks about how he drives around with this hawk, he films it, and then he puts it up on social media sites. Of course, this has been causing a lot of concern because sometimes there may even be children outside while this guy is doing this without any regard for anybody's safety, which, of course, in and of itself is a bit problematic. Quite honestly, the thought that somebody had the idea that this would actually be something fun to do is actually quite hilarious in and of itself. Now, if you would like to read the whole article, it is over on Newsweek. It just dropped today. So if you want to find out more about one of these UK men, go ahead and go check this one out. However, if you are still here and you want to hear me talk about it, I am going to get into the article just a little bit and read some of the highlights of it. So, here we go. The owner of the Bird of Prey has shared two clips to TikTok as he films himself throwing the winged hunter from a moving car. And the first clip shared to the account at Hunting with Hawks was uploaded on Sunday and was simply captioned, First day out with the bird this season. And the bird handler, thought to be in the UK, captioned the video, Couple of kills today. He later confirmed it was a Harris Hawk. It shows him sitting in the passenger side of a vehicle as someone else films while they drive around residential areas. Children can be seen running around a playground and using swings in the background as a deadly bird hunts just yards away. You better run, Mojito. Do what? I thought you said don't move. That was before. Now, you run. Adios, <laughs> amigo. <laughs> and of course, the article talks about a license is actually needed for hunting with these birds. And whether or not this guy even has a license is actually up for debate because nobody seems to be sure. There were a few people that asked him questions, which I found kind of funny. Johnny asked, why is he doing a drive-by with birds? Y'all know who you're dealing with? A Malibu's most wanted, y'all. Kid Car ain't got nothing on me! Ah! And Matt admitted, never in my life did I think I would see drive-by falconry. How easy said, dude has an attack hawk. Deanne thought, crows? Nope. That's wrong. The ginger lord agreed, saying, why though? Crows are intelligent birds. I understand with pigeons, but not a crow. Justin Singh commented, pulling a drive-by on birds. ZKFN reckon it's in their nature to hunt. That is what the bird does for fun. Obviously, the owner knows that. Yo, he dead. Yo, pass that shit. <laughs> Joshua wrote, I want to battle Hawk now. Robert K. claimed this is not fair play. The other birds don't see him coming. Nah, mate. Not right. <laughs> I guess I guess Robert is a bit upset for the birds and he's trying to um speak for them now. He's white knighting for birds. 
Way to go, Robert. Great job. P. Dot's joke drive bys 200 years ago. And Matt Corey added, Now that is a weapon. Now you better get your stank asses up out of here before I cause a nuclear holocaust up in here, fool. Let's go, let's go, fool. Come on, now. Fool, be Hiroshima and Nagasaki. Anyway, guys, that is all I have for this one. Let me know what you think about this stupidity in the comments down below. And, of course, if you like what you've seen and what you heard, go ahead and destroy that like button for me. If you are new to the channel or if you're returning and you have been unsubscribed, we here at the Guinea Pig Collective would appreciate you subscribing. And remember, guys, never let anybody tell you what you can and can't say, what you should or should not watch, because your silence gives consent. And we will catch you all next time. Later, y'all.